Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. Today we're taking a look at the CZ457 Carbon Barrel Limited Edition in 2-2 Rimfire. This 457 2-2 Rimfire, like all the other 457s, is compatible with the same single stack magazine system. This is a 5 round, there's a 10 round available, you can also get a 25 which is like a banana mag, which you more commonly see on the CZ512. The barrel is screw cut, half inch by 20 threads per inch for a sound moderator or muzzle brake. This barrel is 20 inches or 525 millimeters and features an inner steel core wrapped with carbon and a machine to finish. The polymer stock is similar to the standard synthetic rifle but it's opened out more for the larger diameter carbon barrel. Here you can see it's fully free floating, still quite stiff. It features two studs for a bipod and a sling. Here you can see the other sling stud on the underside at the back end of the rifle. It's almost a little bit difficult to see the full carbon effect on a camera or video. It really shows off in daylight and it's a smooth finish, although you can still see slight porosity from where the carbon is wrapped around the steel inner barrel core before it's machined to finish it to completed size. The barrel chamber is match grade and has noticeably tight headspace. You might find some rounds are a little bit too tight to feed smoothly, but generally speaking, if you want the best accuracy, you might want to start rim thickness gauging your ammunition to give you the most consistency shot to shot. I didn't have any problem shooting any ammo, but you can note from the video, sometimes the bolt looks noticeably tighter to close than others. The barrel within is stainless steel to avoid corrosion problems. The bolt is quite tight on it, it's quite a tight headspace chamber. The test target supplied with the rifle lists it being used with 22LR RWS 40 grain ammunition at a range of 50 metres for 5 shots with a dispersion area of 13 millimetres. I think my groups on test supersede this and it clearly shows the rifle is quite consistent with most types of ammunition but as noted before the bolt can be quite tight if the rims are quite thick on the cases of your specific ammunition you choose. 60 degree bolt lift and the safety catch locks the trigger system. The bolt is operable with the safety catch on, forward, for fire. 
trigger pull is crisp and of course fully adjustable so it will last throughout the life of the rifle and as metal does wear you may want to adjust it as that life goes on. I think that's a great move from CZ and shows that it's a company of gun makers not just marketing salesmen. Scope mounting is via an 11mm dovetail rail for simplicity with rimfire mounts. CZ do also make a Picatinny rail that you can fit if you want. Being a 457 it has the full barrel interchange capability so with the action removed from the stock providing the barrel itself will fit in the channel in the stock you can just re release the two impinging bolts at the front of the action and the barrel slots out. Different calibre change kits are available with magazine, spacer and also the barrel head spacing kit too. The trigger is a single stage adjustable unit and extremely crisp in use with a large spacer's trigger guard for gloved fingers. Here you can see the underside magazine catch for standard CZ magazines. This spacer here at the back is part of the Calibre mini set system, which means on CZ 457s or 455s, you can change barrels and calibres. And this magazine spacer here compensates for the larger 17HMR or 22WMR magazines when it's removed. Here you can see the two T25 torque screws, which release the rifle action from the stock's bedding. A separate bolt release catch is featured. The bolt has a 60 degree lift, two extractor claws, and a mechanical ejector appearing from underneath to ensure reliable expulsion of used rounds. Notably, CZ's movement towards a lighter striker does give a perceptibly quicker lock time. And also the way the striker itself has been designed looks like it will give far longer life without possible damage from dry firing. Here you can see slight ribbing on the forend making it easy to grip and there's plenty of space to wrap your fingers without touching the barrel. The stock is truly ambidextrous with a slight palm swell on either side so you can shoot it left or right handed. The cocked action indicator on the back of the bolt is both tactile and visible to show when the action is live or fired. The cheek piece is quite high and it's slim, so you can get it underneath your cheekbone rather than displacing your jaw. You get good scope eye alignment, and it's fast and versatile for either sporting use or dynamic shooting positions in competition. The stock features a soft touch finish, and it's dipped to give you this carbon-like sort of reptilian effect around it. Here you can see the butt pad. It's a solid, very, very slightly soft touch polymer unit Length of pull is 14 inches or 355 millimetres. The grip shows similar rib panels on both sides of its ambidextrous palm swell shape. Reach to the trigger blade is spacious and it doesn't feel like a kid's gun, it's an adult sized rifle. You can see some of the detail 
the machined carbon fiber that makes the external finish of the barrel wrapped around a steel rifled core. The steel barrel is machined before being wrapped with carbon fiber and machined to final overall diameter for the bull barrel finish. This SK ammunition is very slippery. Should chamber more easily than the others. This CZ457, like all the other 457s, 455, 453, 452, they all use the same single shot magazine system with a front latch. Um, these, in the older rifles, these were in steel, but now the polymer, it comes with a five rounder, 10 rounders are available, and you can also get a 25 rounder, which is uh, like a banana shape that comes off the CZ512 actually, which also uses the same magazine system. I love the fact the 457 action has such great versatility when combined with so many other stocks which CZ themselves offer and don't rely on copying other aftermarket equipment hoping they will supply it suitable for their own rifle. Is this gun worth twice the amount of some of the other CZs and using the same action? Well, perhaps not, no. But it is limited edition and quite unique in what it offers. I think the looks are very appealing and attractive. I think combined with a Picatinny rail and short night vision scope, this would be a great rabbiting rifle because it is just so versatile when carried and enjoyable to use. Is this gun worth twice the amount of some of the other CZs and using the same action? Well, perhaps not, no. But it is limited edition and quite unique in what it offers. I think the looks are very appealing and attractive, and it really is a rifle beyond its price point in that respect. I've been out doing a bit of pest control with the rifle as well, and it's actually worked quite well with some of the new non-toxic 2-2 rimfire ammunition, which I'll be doing a full review on at a later date. Overall length is 977mm, or 28.5 inches. Overall weight is 2.4 kilograms or 5.3 pounds, but the lightweight and balance is fantastic because it points almost like your fingertip reaching towards the target when it's spotted by your eyesight. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the review. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, and please click the notification bell and you'll see more reviews from me. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.